To get started with the all new Aqua T series, press the button in the top left corner, which turns the device on, and within seconds you're ready to go. You've got six options to select from, ranging from single frequency, three frequency, profile survey, file explorer, settings, and of course services. We'll start with single frequency. Once your two rods are connected with the orange copper wire, you're ready to go. Under settings, you'll be able to find different languages and of course the time, the display brightness, the about settings. You'll be able to go under the file explorer where we can find exported data. If you connect to your PC, you'll be able to then export all that data onto a computer. And the profile survey, that is where you'll be able to see the graph from all the recorded data that you collect. When we go outside, we'll use a single frequency to try and locate water. To start, you'll need a tape measure, which you will put into the ground. At the starting point, you fix it. You'll need to pull the tape measure out 10 meters. Once you've got your tape measure lined out, you'll have your handheld device and your two rods with your cable. Plug in the cable at the top end. Once you've got your device ready, it'll be good to just place it on the ground. You select single frequency. You'll need to do a line test to make sure that everything's connected well. You'll have to cross over for the line test, the two rods, making sure that they're touching. And then you'll press the line test button. Whilst pressing it, you can check that there's a green light that turns on at the top end of the handheld device. Now that you've got everything ready, line test is done, everything's connected. You'll need to insert the rods into the ground. The first one, which is the line with the shortest cable, will need to be pushed into the starting point of the tape measure at zero. The second rod will need to go into the 10 meter mark. Once you've got your rods inserted into the ground, you'll proceed by clicking on the profile survey option. Once you've got your profile survey open, you'll click on record. This will only take a moment while it's recording the profile survey off the ground. Once the profile survey has finished scanning the first point, you'll then need to proceed by uh, moving the rods one meter forward along the tape measure on both ends. You'll have to do this moving along one meter at a time for about six times at least for the profile survey to be able to produce a clear image of the situation in the ground. On the profile survey, your first point represents the five meter mark at your first recording. As you move up one meter, the second point represents the six meter mark and so on. So you're always representing the middle section between two rods on your profile survey. Thank you for being with us today and exploring our all new Aqua T series, your next solution to finding underground water sources.